Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on how to decorate your daughter's room. This will be a Christmas gift. Um, this room is a 12 by 10, I think. I think. Don't quote me, but I know it's somewhat 12 something. 12 by something. But, I'm and I'm calling it that because I got the crown molding cut that size. So, it's a pretty small room but good decent size i'm painting this i'm in the middle of painting my ceilings here in this room and i'm i it only took one gallon of paint this is bare paint that i'm using white for a flat ceiling and i only did one coat so far as you can see open space is still my husband had to get up there help me paint that because I don't have a ladder I'm actually standing in a chair and a stool yeah ghetto I know and I know people say hey uh, painters have told me because I got their opinion to start in the cracks of the ceiling like what I did over here like come down on the wall some with painting and I did that for most of the wall but you know I'm working in sections because it's just me doing it I'm not a professional I'm just you know Going with the flow. I watched plenty of YouTube videos to get where I am right now. And then I have this small side left on this side of the ceiling to finish. So I think I'm pretty, I, I think I'm doing pretty good for my first time doing this myself. My DIY. Then we're going to be painting the walls gray. I can't decide if I want this wall to be the pink wall. Or if I want this wall to be the pink wall, this is where the entry door is. <clears throat> so I'm changing out uh, everything in this room except the carpet. I'm going to just get the carpet clean. I'm going to go back over there in that corner and see, see the paint on the wall. I had an accident over there. I almost fell. I'm going to fill, I'm going to cock that back up. Don't know how that's separated, but since we bought the house, they call the house saying, oh, it's supposed to settle in. Well, settle in to them mean break in. I don't, I don't know what that means. Heat, weather, whatever. I think I will only need one, a one gallon paint. One gallon. Uh, I think I only need a gallon of paint for the gray and definitely for the pink because I'm only doing one wall. For the pink then I can't decide uh, should I do this window and do this side pink and have the little circles dropping down I don't know I don't know I don't think that's a good fit so I'm gonna stick with it just depends on where I want to place her bed I really don't want her bed on this wall because that's where my room is on the other side of that you know as she get older I don't I don't want her facing my wall and her TV would be over here but I said let's try her bed over here with a nightstand and put a TV on that wall but to me, it looks more beneficial this way than the other way. But I don't know. Once her bed get here, we will decide then. But I'm going to finish this up. Any questions or comments below, go ahead and put it down there. Also, once I'm actually done with filming this whole room video DIY room, I'm going to come on here and tell you guys the budget I had planned for this. Well, let me not say a budget. I don't have a budget. Because I want what I want, and I want to do what I want to do in this room. So, we will come and talk about the pricing of everything that I brought here and total it all up. And see how much you can do, how much it takes for you to design your room. Now, um, only thing that I didn't take the cheap route on is the furniture. Because I need that to grow with her to her teen years. So, other than that... Everything else was very inexpensive. Questions and comments below. Please like, rate, and subscribe. And I'll be back with you guys later. Bye.